everybody. Hi guys. So if you want to serve a dish that celebrates the taste of summer and is super easy to make, you've got to try our zucchini, zucchini fritters. fritters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These babies are just so loaded with fresh flavor. Yeah, and they're lightly fried, so they're crispy on the outside. Yes, but they're still super yummy tender on the inside. Yeah, so whip up a batch and serve them with a dollop of sour cream. <laughs> and a nice <laughs> sprinkling of chives. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Uh, I don't think I'm very crunchy on the outside. Well, okay, well you're soft on the inside, oh. that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so folks, we're making zucchini. Yay! Yeah, I love zucchini. I do too, so when, when we're filming this. That was a this, big zucchini. I know it. <laughs> so when, we've, when we're filming this, it's uh, like spring, about to be summer here in Texas, and I've got my garden outside, and so it we were. We crawling went, with zucchini. It, it is, we went and uh, we picked ourselves some zucchini to make some fruit. You, uh, this this is the time of the year when you're like, okay, what am I going to do with all that right, zucchini? Right. And if you're not like me and you don't have a crazy a garden, your farmer's market has lots of these fresh babies. <laughs> that is the county fair winner. I that know, I know. It's like a, it's a beacon of, it is huge. it's the zook zucchini. beacon. Yeah, anyway, so um, anyway, get, pick yourself up, uh, pick yourself up some zucchini yes. and let's do it. So let's get started. Yeah. So I'm actually doing some work on this, <laughs> on this recipe. Well, it's about time. Oh, so what we did, we picked out the three, uh, three zucchinis from Chris's garden, uh, which total about three cups when they're shredded, right? Three cups. Or a pound and a half. Pound and a half. Okay. Three medium-sized zucchinis. Right. This would not be medium-sized. No. <laughs> and so what we did is we got our box grater and we shred them all. Well, I cut the end off first and then I shred each one of them, which required a lot of elbow grease. Oh, it's not that much. It's easy. <laughs> if you don't want it, you could also you cheat and use your food processor yeah, with exactly, a shredder. exactly, but he wouldn't let me do that. Anyway, so I used the box grater, got them all grated, and then I got my colander, and I put the colander inside a big bowl, a glass bowl, and then I put the, the, um, uh, the shredded zucchini inside that, and then I added two teaspoons of salt and I mixed it all together because that salt will draw out all of your extra liquid. And these babies hold want, a lot of right. water. They, these right. babies hold a lot of water. You don't want water in your fritters because they're not easy to fry and then they won't, they'll, they yeah. won't stay together. We don't want watery fritters. No, <laughs> no we don't. <laughs> so once we let, so in order to get that water out of there, we, we're gonna put them in that, that colander and then we put something heavy on top. So I put a plate on top and then I, then grab I grabbed them. whatever's close to you, which was a box of wine. So, which is unusual that it was heavy because it's usually half empty. <laughs> That's so, anyway, We're so, so we, classy. Yeah, so we let that sit for about an hour and let that drain all that water out of that out of the zucchini. And then once we did that, once we after that hour, I came back and I grabbed some cheesecloth and I put all of the zucchini in that cheesecloth because I'm going to get rid of the still some excess. There's a lot of water, water. in these babies. Yeah. These babies carry a lot it's of water. It's crazy. And so I, I squeezed it. and I squeezed and squeezed and got a lot more water out of there. And once I did, once I was finally getting all that water out of there, I emptied it into this bowl and now we're ready to start. That's right. And if you don't have cheesecloth, <laughs> you can use a, a kitchen towel. Just anything that's porous that you can drain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Woo, wow. Now I feel like you. I'm hoarse I from know, all that talking. Would you stop talking so much? <laughs> um, all right. So here's our zucchini and now we're going to make it even better. So we've got some flour. Flour here. Okay, we've got a uh, that is a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. <laughs> Hello, flour. <laughs> flour. Oh, and then so we've got some Parmesan cheese, which is also a quarter cup. Yes, I'm going to let him give the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the measurements. Yeah. Then we have some garlic. We've got two cloves that have been mm -hmm. minced. Wow, I okay. love that. Love okay. that. Okay. Then we have an egg. We have one egg that's been beaten. This is going to keep it all together. Okay. Yes, yep. and then we yep. have. This really adds a brightness to them, which is a little lemon zest. This is a teaspoon of lemon zest. We're going to talk about these other additional yes. uh, adding flavorings. In and then another one, which is our favorite thing, dill. Fresh dill. Mm. It's one tablespoon. I love dill. It's the real dill. <laughs> Just waiting. I, I gave you that. No, thank and you. now we have some chives, too, which add another little saltiness to them. And yes. that's a couple tablespoons. So you're going to mix that. Oh, wait. What, do I want to put a oh, little yeah, bit yeah, of sorry. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Half so a although we used some salt, we're still going to put a little more salt Most in there. Most of that salt was drained away with all so of the water. So a little half a so teaspoon Half a teaspoon that. is a good amount. And then some healthy so pinches healthy, of pepper. You got it, Lou. Pepper. And you're going to get the I'm skillet gonna get going. Some, all right. We're going to bring these over to the stove here in just a moment. And I'm going to um, just whip this together. Yes, yes, yes. So on, on these 
added flavorings that were added. The star of this dish, added as you can imagine, added flavors, um, <laughs> is, our, is the zucchini. So we don't want to do anything that's going to distract from the beautiful flavor of the zucchini. No, so, this, uh, these are just perfect. Th we've, really we've tested lots on this recipe, and we find that these measurements are really good. But if you hate lemon zest, if you hate chives, or if you hate dill, you can leave them out yeah. entirely and still yeah. um, It'll be have a little more boring. But... No, it'll still be delicious. <laughs> it should be really good. Just what I would what I would resist doing is if you love lemon zest, don't overdo it on any of these because then it starts to overpower yeah. the taste. Yeah, of the we made one batch and I was like, did you throw a whole lemon in here? I was feeling very zesty. <laughs> All right, these okay, are that's good. Beautiful. That's, that's good. good. Okay, go on over. Way to go, Loon. Thank okay. you. Okay, so now we're going to. I'm just going to use my fingers here. Yeah. That's okay, fine. so now we're going to come over here to the stove. Hi, stove. So I've got two tablespoons of olive oil. Yes, two tablespoons of olive oil, good quality olive oil, mm. that I'm going to put in my skillet. And now what I've got here is I've just got a... An ice a, cream scooper. A, ice cream scoop works wonderfully. It, you just want to put a little ball in there. These are, these are fritters, so they don't have to be perfectly circular. I mean, they're meant to be a little misshapen. That's what makes them fritters. Um, so don't fret about your fritter if it's not <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I know. I know. You, you can always count on it. Okay. So now these are going in there. That, um, I just turned this on. So now they're just starting to heat up a little bit. So you want to get your your oil over medium high heat because uh, these cook pretty quickly. And then I just use like a little spatula or a little wooden spoon. And you're going to want to do these in batches. Um, and then just, you know, you're going to cook them. Come on back here. And then you cook. So, so people can see you. Heidi, like that. <laughs> yeah. come on back, Heidi. <laughs> anyway, so um, you're going to just let these cook for about two minutes until they get nice and brown on the bottom. And then we're going to flip them. And then it's time to eat. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I love that. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's fritter time. It's fritter time. I tell you what. Okay, so let's just tell you what we did. How we got this? It, Those it, look so good. It's so easy. So after you know they you know just kind of move them around in the pan. You don't want them to uh, burn to and stick. just to stick. And and then um, you know you can tell after a couple minutes they they start to feel like a little like they're getting brown on the bottom. So just flip them over and let them go for a couple more minutes. And they're going to cook beautifully. And then what I do is I get either a towel or just like a small cutting board, put some paper towels on it, uh, take them out of the skillet and place them on there. You're going to want to do these in a couple of batches right. unless you have like a massive uh, skillet, which why would you? Um, so then, you know, you're going to do your next batch. And uh, th these are going to stay nice and warm. And Those these look they're wonderful. great. They're so summery yes. and beautiful and festive. And these Come are on. wonderful. Okay, okay. Serve them up. I'm serving them up. And so now this I, I kind of think like, uh, wait, I'm over here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm thinking of myself. I'm so selfish. I'm kind of like, I'm the person that made these. Right. Okay. Yeah. But isn't it how to feed a loon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're getting pretty bad. You're getting decent in the kitchen. Okay. So now can this I, is. Can I please? I want to show them over here. Oh, okay. Hello. There we go. Look at that. So that. So there is Wesley's <laughs> dollop of sour cream. That. And then we have looks a, absolutely wonderful. A <gasps> chives, which I love, which is my favorite little touch. Y'all. And what I did I say you can serve these? I think they're best served warm. Yeah. But they're still absolutely scrumptious room temperature. Yeah. Okay. Look at okay. I'm just gonna smear that right on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love oh, this. I love wow, this. Wow, that's a good batch. <laughs> it's just it's mm. Celebrate! I just ate a garden. That's how <laughs> fresh it tastes. It's been very well prepared. Wow, that is so. Oh, that I like that cheese in there. Yeah, the parmesan. And then you got just that hint of lemon, which just kind of gives it like that hint. brightness, like you, your taste in a garden with summer included. And that. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at wow, it. Wow, just all of that in there, and the dill. No, and then it's it's in the texture. Don't you love the texture? I, yes, I love okay, this. Okay, and well, can we please talk about the sort of like the star ingredient? The, well, the zucchini. <laughs> that's what I was saying. It's like fresh, like a garden. I know. Y'all, these are 100% Luna approved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah. Oh, I did I, such a good job. You did. You did. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yes, mm. I can hardly wait to dig into mm. these. I just love, mm. I love these zucchini fritters. So okay. I love it. I love it so much. Mm. 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 Isn't, aren't they just so fresh tasting? 
We, we've done fried zucchini, which is really good. That's right. delicious. Yeah. Um, but these, I think, just they, they, they maintain really, the zucchini the taste. flavor. They're so yes. good. So you good. Know, and I love, you, they're so tasty by themselves. They're, they're great with sour cream. But you know what else is really good if you really want to wow your guests? Make some homemade ranch. That's oh. A perfect dip. Oh, yes. Or you want to serve it with a to our tomato tart? <laughs> then their guests would flip. They'll go crazy. And it's all veggie all the time. That's right. I now love it. Now you can get these recipes on howtofeedaloon.com. We love you. <laughs> Don't fret. Make fritters. <laughs> Bye.